So we are now recording again. Welcome to the Teen Shop Challenge Showcase. All right. So um, I didn't mean to say kickoff. But all right. So the, um, we're going to talk about the challenge. Um, we're going to talk about the submissions we got. We actually got some more today. So um, the competition doesn't end yet. So again, we're going to talk about the challenge. We're going to talk about the submissions. And then if you participated, which I hope you five did, um, if you participated, please feel free to give us your thoughts and maybe talk about what you think other people did cool and maybe what you could have done differently or something you thought about the challenge that you think could be cool for next year, things like that. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the challenge. So the CHOP challenge is gonna, it, it goes all the way until August 18th. So we have three more days to accept submissions. Um, so if you have a friend who's maybe been working on it and they aren't quite finished yet, they still have three days to go to the um, Fairfax County Library website and search for CHOPed and go to that submission form. And they still have three more days to submit their um, recipe. So again, you can pick up an ingredient kit. I think it's still available at some of the branches, um, but I actually, I should have checked on that. <laughs> um, but uh, there might be a few left, but again, you can always just go grab the ingredients yourself. Um, and so the goal here is to create an original recipe using all three of the mystery ingredients. Um, so create your recipe. So you, you write it down either on a recipe card that we give you or on a notebook and then submit it online and take a picture, right? So, um, and then you can complete your online submission or return it in the branch. All right, so again, June 16th, August 18th, um, we're gonna talk, let's talk about how that's gonna be judged. Oh, well, here's the submission sheet. So this is what we're gonna judge your submission based on, right? So we're gonna judge it on appearance. So Sending in a picture with your submission is key, right? It's kind of hard to judge on appearance if I don't know what it looks like. Is it appealing? Is it plated well? Is it easily identifiable? Um, and then we're gonna judge you on creativity. Did you use the mystery ingredients and your pantry to create something out of the box? Have you transformed your dish into a new experience? Did you take the ingredients and go in the obvious route? Or did you take these ingredients and say, I wonder if I could do this with it and then blow our minds, right? Um, we're also going to talk about, we're also going to judge taste. So does it taste good? The judges are going to create your recipes. So we want to know, is it going to taste good? Or did you just throw things together and be like, hey, this is creative and it looks cool. I don't think it tastes good though. So again, can I taste everything in the recipe that I'm supposed to? Can I taste the black beans and the chocolate and the cornbread mix? Can I taste it all? Does it taste good? We're also going to talk about or judge um, the use of your mystery ingredients. So did they all land in the recipe? Is it one recipe? Did they all make it on the plate? And can I taste all of them? And we're also gonna talk about the transformation of the mystery ingredients. Have your mystery ingredients changed shape, consistency? Uh, did, you gotta make sure they're not an afterthought to your dish, right? Like they have to be meant to be there, right? Um, and then winner, winner. So it's not as hard to win as you think. Um, and by August 31st, we were going to, we're going to have our second runner up, our first runner up and a winner. And so I'm going to, I'm going to show you really quickly what the prizes are. So everyone's going to get, oh, you can't see that. Can you? Uh, ah, everyone's going to get a recipe diary, uh, or at least the three winners are going to get a recipe diary and the big winner the main, the main winner is going to get a personalized apron. It says Teen Chopped Challenge on it. Teen Chopped, Teen Chopped Champion on it. So uh, that's your that's the prize if you win. Okay. Do we have any questions so far? No. Okay. So let's talk about what some people made today. So. Our first submission was brownie batter pudding pie by Felicity. And this is her picture that she submitted with it. What do you guys think of that? It's pretty cool, right? Brownie batter pudding pie. I'm not gonna include the details of the recipe because it is still currently the challenge. So I don't wanna give away too much of these people's ideas, but I will show everyone's um, 
picture, right? And so this is Felicity's brownie batter pudding pie. Um, we also have triple B pancakes uh, with beans, brownies, and bread being the triple B. So this is by Kiera Elizabeth. Those look pretty tasty, right? They kind of remind me of chocolate chip pancakes. Anyone else? Yeah. We also have a corn muffin and black bean brownies with a caramel topping by Yale D. I think that looks really tasty. Good job. I really like the picture too. He used the plate to frame the um, creation recipe. Brownie, brownie. Cornbread reimagined two ways by Soren. So that's pretty cool. He decorated both of them. He thought about how he plated them and he made it two ways. He didn't have to make it two ways, but they decided to. We have chocolate. We have a chocolate Arctic, Arctic roll with black bean ice cream. It's a delicious multicultural chocolate Arctic roll with black bean ice cream by Hannah. That is pretty cool. I really like the presentation. It's a Swiss roll. And I imagine the black beans are somewhere in the ice cream, which I think sounds really tasty, sort of like red bean paste. Feel free to comment if you want. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to keep talking. All right. So we also have a choco bean cornbread delight by Oliver. That looks really cool, kind of like a like a chocolate chip like cake. So I don't know. It reminds me of like a really big chocolate chip cookie, um, but with beans. So we'll see how that goes. Um, hot cocoa barbecue pork sliders with bean slaw by Olivia. Oh my God, that looks delicious. Looks delicious. It's a great presentation too. Chicken mole corn pancake tacos with black beans and rice. Um, if I didn't say it before, our mystery ingredients were black beans um jiffy cornbread mix and dark chocolate hot cocoa mix um so if you if you think you can identify all the these ingredients in these um creations so far that's great um so mole is a spicy chocolate sauce right so um i didn't think about mentioning what the mystery ingredients are <laughs> savory mole pancakes by Lucy Joyce. I think those look really cool. They made guacamole icing. Cool. Brownies by McKinsey and, A McKinsey and Aaron. I think everyone loves a good brownie, especially ones with white chocolate chips. We also have one fish, two fish, Emmeline's new fish by Emmeline. I think that looks super creative. And I actually have a coworker who just went to Seattle and she got waffle like fish with chocolate, like bean paste inside. And so I think that's the goal here, uh, which I think is really cool. Um, it's, it's fun to see these international takes on ingredients you can get in the grocery store. I just, I'm enjoying it. Um, black bean burger and peanut butter pie. So this one is by Ann L. I think that peanut butter pie looks delicious. I have not read this recipe yet, so I'm very curious to see what is in that peanut butter pie. I'm excited. It looks tasty. <laughs> um, and then we have, I'm, on, I can be, I'm honest, I'm not sure I'm gonna say this right, but I think it's Patty Shapta Pita, Pita, uh, Pitas, I think. Uh, with chocolate black bean and coconut filling. I think it's supposed to be like a crepe. I looked it up because I was curious and I wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna butcher it <laughs> when I said it out loud. Um, this is by Navina D, but I think they're supposed to be like um, Arabic crepes, which I think sounds really interesting. Um, and I really love coconut. So I'm interested to see where all of the mystery ingredients landed in this recipe. 
And then we have Pinata Cakes and Quesadillas by Ellen. Um, I'm pretty sure that this person made those tortillas from scratch for, with the cornbread, which I think is really creative. All right. And then we have some incomplete entries. So if you are watching, uh, if you could submit your recipe, that would be great. That way I could judge all of it, right? Instead of just your really good pictures, right? So we have what looks like a brownie by Joanna, what looks like brownies and black beans by Saba, oh, sorry, and what looks like cornbread and brownies by Chia Ling. Did I say that right? Chilling, yes. All right. So thoughts? What did you guys think about what everyone made? Is anyone gonna say anything? <laughs> you can chat if you don't. Some of them looked really good, like the presentation. Mm. You thought some of the presentations look really good? Yeah. I think some people did really good jobs. Like which one did you like the most? Or which ones did you like? Um, I think that, one's that one was that one was a good presentation. Yeah, and I like was one earlier. Too. I like the pie. Uh, is that one a good presentation? Yeah. Yeah. What about? I think that's cool. You yeah. don't see very you don't see savory cupcakes very often. I think that's cool. I think that one's nice. I have to say we have some pretty good photographers. Like it's hard to take a good picture sometimes, especially when you're trying to get close up details and not like overwhelm the picture frame. So I'm I'm really impressed with the way with all the submissions we've gotten so far. Does anyone else have some thoughts they want to share? Maybe what did you think about your experience when you were making it? Did you want to talk about what you made? Or something you thought was kind of clunky when you were doing the um challenge like what did you think of the mystery basket was it hard was it was it more fun or less fun than you thought it was going to be um did you watch chopped to prepare yourself for the challenge i did mine with my neighbor and at one point i didn't have we didn't have a blender at her house so um we had for our recipe, which was the brownies. So we had to bike down to my house with the blender, like with the bowl in my, in like a bag I had. And then we biked down to my house, blended it and then biked back up to her house. <laughs> that sounds like a fun experiment, experience. On the go brownies, maybe. Or I think, I, th I, I think you're, most people who use the blenders made brownies, but um, that's really cool. Got a little <laughs> exercise. <laughs> She didn't have a food processor and I had one at my house, so we were. Yeah. I'm, it's fun that you got to do it with your friend though. Did you, did you think working with someone made it easier or harder? Um, well, like it was pretty, I like doing things by myself sometimes, but it was, it was easier to have someone else there too. Someone to bounce your ideas off of maybe? Yeah. I do that with my twin sister a lot whenever I'm cooking from at home. I'm like, is this going to work or is that just going to make it look really weird or taste funny? Or yeah, that's I... what I was doing. Okay, cool. What did, an, did anyone find anything particularly challenging with this mystery basket? Like what was the one ingredient that really stumped you? It was like hard to find out what to do with like black beans and stuff because the other two things are more like sweet and then the black beans is like savory or the cornbread is more like it was hard to find out what to do stuff the mixture of sweet and savory was hard was was that was the challenge for this one you think yeah i can see that i think it i think when you're coming up with recipes, it's hard to pick a direction when you can go either way, especially if you can come up with multiple ideas in either direction. So then you really have to think like, what's gonna be like super fun to make or like super tasty or super challenging, right? Cool, what's gonna be the most impressive? Did anyone do this last year too? Maybe not, well, 
I think we got just as many submissions this year as we did last year. So it'll be interesting comparing like how much uh, the Fairfax teens have like upped their game since last year. So that'll be cool. What did the winner make last year? What did the winner make last year? Yeah. Um, let me check. I think. I'm going to unshare my screen really quick to look that up. Give me one second. I should have prepared that answer. I'll be right back. Uh, is it Griffin? So Eliza was the winner last year and she made she made um little taco she made taco cups. So last year the um ingredients were tortilla flour tortillas, um chickpea, canned chickpeas and um canned peaches um that were in like little cups. So they made they made I don't know if you can see it. Uh, struggling. Okay. Haha. -ha. She made like taco cups with the um, chickpeas and chicken. So uh, it was peaches, garbanzo beans, tortillas, bacon, onion, honey, barbecue sauce, chicken breast, cooked and shredded, tomatoes, lettuce, and sour cream. And she made it into like little cups, like muffin cups. She sort of stuffed the tortillas down in them and then mixed and then baked it in together. It was, it was pretty tasty. I enjoyed that one. And they won. So I think second place was Thomas. And they made... Aha. Thomas Walker, he made a salad with like tortilla chip, homemade tortilla chips and chickpeas and peaches. And like he made his own salad dressing with the peaches and th and like stuff like, and like roasted the chickpeas to make them crunchy. It was really tasty. So that was, for, that was first and second place. Did you want to see any of the others? No, it's okay. Okay. So it wasn't really that the ingredients individually were challenging. It was, it was challenging to put them together this year. You think? Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool. I think last year, the most challenging was the, were the peaches. They could, people could go really well with the chickpeas and the tortillas, but they had a, the peaches were a challenge. So this year it wasn't necessarily an individual ingredient. It was putting them together. Interesting. Um, does anyone else want to share any more thoughts? I have a question. Yeah. I, let's say you win. Do you get like an email or something? You do get an email. I will email the runner-up, the first runner-up, the second runner-up, and the winner. Um, 
Probably, but we the goal is to finish judging by August 31st. So if you don't get hear anything by the end of August, the beginning of September, um, watch um, Fair, Fair, Fairfax County Public Library's medias, media pages. So like Facebook and Instagram and things, we're going to post the winner there um, too. But we are going to email everyone individually first. <laughs> Who won? Okay. Yeah. Do we have any more questions? Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna post this on YouTube once everyone once the competition's over to give everyone a chance to submit. Um, so if you can think of any questions, you can also uh, get in touch with us at libkp at fairfaxcounty.gov or libteenservices at fairfaxcounty.gov. If you have any questions, you can email us there. Um, so thank you again to Renee and Marissa. <laughs> for making this possible. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, and I hope we have some tasty, some tasty judging ahead of us. What do you guys think? Do you think it's gonna be fun for us to judge? All that chocolate? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Does anyone else have any questions? Any thoughts? Comments? I'm gonna end the recording. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming.